Hi, my name is Dimitri Michalais. Today I'm going to talk about the muscular system in principles of anatomy, anatomy and physiology in sport. The criteria is unit 2, P3. And also the unit code is D5024888. The muscular system is an organ system consists of skeletal, cardiac and smooth muscles. It permits movement of the body, maintains posture and uh, circulates blood through the body. The muscular system in vertebras are controlled through the nerves system, also some muscles such as uh, the cardiac muscle, uh, which can be completely ap autonomous. Together with the skeletal system, it forms the musculoskeletal system, uh, which is responsible for movement of the human body. Now we move to the muscle types. The muscle types. There are only there are three types of muscles, which is skeletal, uh, cardiac, and smooth muscles. Skeletal muscle is a voluntary muscle, which means that we can activate and uh, control in function in each function. It's attached to the bone and forms uh, to distinct organ of muscles such as uh, muscle tissue, blood vessels, tendons and nerves that covers our bones and allows movement. Skeletal muscles often exist in pairs, uh, such as when the one muscle is the uh, primary mover and the other act as an antagonist. Uh, an example is when a wild lifter lifts the whites, uh, his bicep contracts, his bicep contracts, uh, while his triceps uh, relaxes when he's in flexion, like this. Now we move to cardio muscle. The cardio muscle tissue is only found in your head when it performs coordinating contractions uh, that allow your head to pump blood uh, through your circulatory system. Uh, it also works to keep your head pumping through, involved in involuntary movement. Uh, this one feature uh, that differentiates it from skeletal muscles, uh, from uh, which you can control uh, yeah, which you can control. It does this through the specialized cells, the pacemaker cells. This control the contractions of your heart. An example is when a runner is running in the marathon and has a long time uh, in the run, his body starts to be tired. So the blood is helping him by release uh, through the heart so to oxygenate in the blood, uh, the body. Smooth muscle. The smooth muscles found in the walls of hollow organs like your intestines or your stomach. Uh, they work automatically without you being aware of them. Smooth muscles are involved in many uh, housekeeping functions of the body. Uh, the muscular walls of your intestines uh, contract to push food through your body. These muscle cells are arranged in battles of nerve uh, fibers. An example is when a woman is ready to release the body from her urine, the smooth muscles are helping her push it forward. Such as, you know, yeah. And now we move to functions of muscular system. The first one is the antagonist pairs. Uh, the antagonist pairs is a muscle assisting the movement and length, lengthness during contraction. An example is when a bowling player makes a shot his bicep is relaxing and his triceps is contracting uh, while he's in extension uh, action, like this, when he shoots. An opposite sport is uh, in football. When a football player makes a free throw, uh, his bicep now is contracting and his triceps is relaxing when he's in flexion action, like this. Now we move to ag agonist. The agonist is a movement of the muscle that provides a major force to complete the movement. And our example is again with a bowling player make a shot. His triceps is in the angle is the agonist in extension action which he makes the shot. Uh, while in the opposite, uh, when a white lifter uh, may uh, is training, he uses whites. Uh, when he lifts the whites, his agonist in the arm is the biceps when he's in a flexion action. Now we move to the fixator. The fixator in the movement is the muscles uh, that stabilize the origin of the agonist and the joint that the origin spans. Uh, 
uh, in order to help the agonist function most uh, effectively. Uh, an example is when you do a bicep curl, the biceps act to flex the elbow. Uh, in opposite, uh, in football, when a footballer kicks the ball, uh, the gluteus maximus acts as a fixator. A synergist. The synergist in a movement is a muscle that stabilizes a joint around which a movement uh, is occurring, which in turn helps the agonist function effectively. Synergist muscles also have help to create the movement. Uh, an example is when you lower yourself into the centering phase uh, of the squat, like this one, uh, all four of your quadriceps are elongated, such as uh, the vastus lateralis, uh, the vastus intermedius, the vastus medials and rectus femoris. In an opposite, uh, during a biceps curl, again, uh, the synergies are the biceps brachii and brachioradialis, uh, as the brachial brachialis act as an agonist. Uh, now we move to muscle contractions. Uh, muscle contractions. Uh, the first one is a concentric. The concentric is a type of contraction, in op is the opposite of the eccentric contraction, uh, which causes the muscle to shorten as it contracts. An example is when you lift the dumbbells, such as bicep curls. And uh, an opposite uh, example is when you do a pull-ups, the contraction occurs when you pull yourself up to the bar. Ascenting. Ascenting is a type of contraction which causes the muscle to expand as it contracts. An example is when you do push-ups, it helps uh, to contract, to expand his arm. Uh, and in opposite, uh, when you're doing bicep curls and you lower the dumbbell to maintain balance and posture, uh, the muscle contra contracts when you lower the dumbbell. Isometric. This type of contraction only happens when there is no change in length of the contracting muscle. An example, when you do the plank, like in the photo, and in opposite is when you do again the biceps cut, but now uh, you lower the arm lower than 90 degrees, like here, as we have in the photo. Now we move to isokinetic. Isokinetic relating to muscular action with a constant rate of movement. An example of this is when bending the elbow from strength to full flex when you go like in a gym and you do your arm and you do the bicep curl you bend your elbow here when you're in the final stage an opposite uh, example is when you do uh, in a swimming a brace stroke with your breast now we move to fiber types there are three types of fibers the first one is type 1 type 2a and the type 2b Type 1, also called the slow twitch muscle fiber type 1, uh, which is red in color because they're efficient of the oxygen and high volumes of myoglobin. These muscle fibers are used in uh, muscular endurance and aerobic activities such as 5,000 meters or 10,000 meters run or marathons or triathlons. An example is swimming, when you do a 100 meters swim. And an opposite example is when a runner la runs a long distance in the marathon. Type 2A, also called fast twitch muscle fiber type 2A. It's also red in color. Uh, these fibers are used in muscular endurance based exercise like bench press or push ups. They contain a large amount of myoglobin and mitochondria. An example is in rugby. In that sport, uh, it's uh, very important to have the type 2A because it helps you in your muscles as it provides in that game 
Also, an opposite game is um, in football, when which includes much more endurance for a player. He needs that because if he wants, if he may have that fiber, it can uh, stay for as long as he can for 90 minute, minutes as the game is normal. The type 2B, uh, also called fast twitch muscle fiber type 2B. Uh, this uh, fiber is white in color because they contain a low amount of microbial and mitochondria. These fibers are used uh, for short duration or high burst of power exercises like uh, 100 meter speed or the barbell lift. An example for this, as we said, is a barbell lift. When you lift the barbell in the white lifting. And in another example, which is the opposite, is sprinting for 100 meters. Thank you very much.